Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, BIMTRACK or new format connect tutorial, I want to show you how to set up your project. We do this in the web browser. I want to go through the process step by step and how you would uh, create a levels, zone, phase, how to create teams, uh, plus how to create priorities. Uh, for the issues and how to set the type of the issues. It's a trade, design, RFIs, and much more. Uh, this is a very important step in order to have a very smooth communication between the design, GC, and subs. Without further ado, let's jump into New Format Connect so we can see how we can set up these project. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the project menu. So we did talk about creating the project. So when you create a project, then you'll be able to see the project menu. So the first one is the dashboard. So the dashboard, when you start creating the issues, all the issues is going to show up here when we get to the Navis in future videos and start creating issues. You guys can see how uh, basically all the activities is going to be shown over here, like what time you logged in, who logged in, what did they do, like everything is going to be logged over here. This is going to be the user's activity. This is a day that we start and we said this project is going to end. And basically on daily basis, it's going to tell you how many issues being created and it's going to kind of tell you the number of uh, the connection from the different users, like who signed in, signed out, like what happened daily. This is the issue. So this is all the issues that are assigned to you. And this is the whole project issue. So basically you kind of see how many issues you have in your court and then how many issues project has. Uh, the next one, when you go to the issues, there's like a three tab under the issues. So when we start creating the issues, all the issues is going to show up over here. We haven't created any issue yet, but you can create issues on your in your Navis, in your Revit, AutoCAD and whatnot using the plugin or you can use the, the web app. So what you can do, you can basically just hit create issue. You can title it. You can basically put a picture if you have a snapshot or anything right there. Uh, you can put the description. You can do all the status. Uh, you can do the type, priority, discipline, zone, phase. And we're going to go through all of these settings, which is the main part of this video that we want to set all of this up for our project. And then who's going to be assigned to, what's going to be the due date for this job, and then who, what the teams are involved, who needs to be notified, and also the visibility of this is only restricted to a few people that are working on the issues or everybody needs to see it. So you can create issues. Uh, in the web app directly if you have an RFI or you have a snapshot you can do it or you can do it in your Navis using the plugin which is going to create a viewpoint and that viewpoint that you select on or take a snapshot or you want to create an issue on is going to be snapshotted put an image here and you can fill out all of these boxes so I'm going to hit cancel here uh, want to leave it when we start creating issues and the issues uh, tab, when you have all of them, there's going to be some metrics that we're going to take a look. Also, you'll be able to create a report. So the port is going to be based on, uh, you know, you can filter them. You want to do it per trade, per area, uh, per level. And also you can send it out like um, an Excel or the PDF. Um, anything needs to be filed as well. This is going to be the file. So if your job has some files like a drawing, some uh, document that needs to be accessed by everyone, you can basically here, you can use this as a... Uh, a repository for your job right you can upload file you can create folder you put everything in the file so this is going to be kind of basically your repository for having the file and uh, on your project so everybody can access so you can see the sharing center viewers in like a beta uh, system right now so what it does basically this is a sharing center so you can download any report any 
file uh, from any other uh, management document control put them over here and share it with people who you want to be shared to so this is going to be the place and also the viewer is just kind of showing the model so it's just a viewer that you'll be able to see the model what's going on how it's going to stop moving around and you can kind of upload everything over here so you can upload a model here and you'll be able to see a different uh, kind of accessibility that you have so like all the selection tree the layers uh, and any model that you have right there you can add and you'll be able to kind of see it it's a viewer version uh, that uh, if somebody who doesn't have access to the navis doesn't have access to any autodesk program they only can go to this web browser and take a look at it and you can see there's all the navigation parts right there which is easy we, we all upload the model later on and we can kind of go through all of these so you guys can see uh, also has like a measurement tool uh, you can the clipping panel for just doing like a, a cross section and also you have a clipping box you can show the pinpoints where is this where the issues are like the camera you can hide and unhide issues and these are like a different way that you can kind of see and right here in the top corner is going to be the kind of settings for the view so viewing model the behavior 3d so restore viewpoints element visibility whatever comes in from the source and then clipping box or so force clipping box around related elements so if you have anything over there basically force it to put around the area uh, so we can set all this up and kind of deal with it later on. Let me just go back. So these, I'm going to skip these project settings, but uh, team and users, this is where you basically go and add your team members. Um, you can create um, a team, let's say all the plumbing team uh, and all the individuals for the plumbing team, you can put it on one team, all the mechanical piping. So when you want to, uh, when you clash between plumbing and mechanical, uh, you can assign it, let's say, to the mechanical guy, and then you can notify the whole plumbing team. So you don't have to select person by person by person. You just basically just select the whole team of the plumbing, and the email goes to that team. So let me just go back to this project setting, which is this is kind of the most important part that I want to uh, go through it with you guys, uh, which I would like to kind of see how everything is going to go through this. So. Uh, the main thing right here that I want to take a look is, uh, first of all, if you have any project number, you can put it over here, internal number. These are the stud and a date, both is going to be edited, and also this is the access that we talked about. So we selected private, which is only users who are added to the project can access it so whoever you add to the project can access this not the whole hub so you you might have like 20 project on the hub but only people who are added to this project those are going to be the people who can access these uh, project so this is kind of uh, the configuration that is important so default due date for new issues so that this means when you create an issue the first day that you create and assign it to an individual to respond they need to address that issue in seven days if you don't issues it's kind of marked as past due date so this is basically uh, customizable you can make it 14 days seven days it just kind of depends on the project that you have you want to say like how many days uh, you want to give your detailers or the subcontractors to work on an issue to get it resolved so it depends on uh, the kind of the timeline that you have and the priority of the project so you can kind of adjust all of this and then this is the the priority so default issue color attribute so you want to know how you kind of basically organize the issue so when you create the issue in navis works so you have certain systems clashing against each other um, you have structural versus mep you have mep versus mep and how you want to basically show these items so you want to show them based on the priority you want to show them based on the phase you want to show them based on the zone type or status like you want to show only on the open one we don't care or you want to show on the priority because we can set the priority and say these are very high this is medium these are low so you can color code all of those based on the priority i would recommend to leave on the priority it makes more sense when you create the clashes so we'll just leave it this so issue mandatory attributes 
so if you remember when we open up and want to create an issue that I kind of showed you guys a sample, it kind of has a few um, like a boxes that you need to fill out, right? Who to assign to, the discipline, due date, group, notify, priority, status, and whatnot. So here, by checking this as an admin, you're telling people these boxes or these um, basically areas needs, must be addressed. So if they don't address or fill out these boxes that you put over here, uh, you, they won't be able to publish the issue, right? So if you kind of don't select anything so people can kind of create an issue without putting anything and publish it, right? But you want to select certain items over here that you feel like is important based on your project needs that you want the people highlighted and to fill out those blanks or those areas before uh, being allowed to be published to the project. So I would recommend assign to, so they got to know where this is going to go. What is the discipline? Where is what hitting what? Uh, the due date, that's important. So we don't want to say, you know, you have to notify people. It might be only between two people that they can kind of deal with each other. Uh, but we want them to set the priority status and the type so these are to me are the important ones that i want to do but if you want to select all of it it's fine they have to fill out every single uh, line item so for now i'm going to select that and you can see it basically shows up over here and again you can go back and adjust these based on your project needs so the next one at the bottom is really important that's the attributes that you can set for your project so you want to say what is the project are you working on the zone it's a phase status type discipline priority group notify notify and then team and role so let's just do a few of them it's pretty easy so for zone i'm gonna say add value and i'm gonna put let's say um zone let's say one for example and if i hit these as a default each time i open the issue box uh, it's gonna have these zone area filled for me with the zone so i'm gonna just leave it so let's say zone one and then let's say zone two and then basically okay zone one Um, and also you can change the colors. I just leave it the way it is. And again, if you want, let's say I wanna I wanna have these to be as a default each time I open it, I can set these as a default. So when you each time you open it, I'm gonna just leave this one right now. So I have three zone. So phases, what do we wanna do? Right? Same thing. So let's say we call it phase A and then sort of Add another value, we put phase B, that's our project. So status, this is important. So these are kind of defined uh, by BIM track. You can add more to it. You can change the color of this and you basically kind of stick to something uh, that you have like a standard on your project. So the default is everything that is being created automatically shows as open if it's in progress or close, so you cannot delete this one, right? And then you can also, you can restrict, right? If you have an admin and you only want the admin to have access to close, you can put your name over here or the admin of the project. But if you don't care, you're telling, okay, I trust everyone when you guys resolve an issue or the issue is resolved, you can close it yourself. You can leave it on all, but if you want to restrict it to a person like a viewer or a supervisor that can review this issue and that person is uh, basically a manager to reviewing the issues when you make sure everything is done and closed, they can kind of close it. And again, if you want to basically add more option, it's right here. You can also change the colors if you want. Uh, but if you want to uh, uh, add more, let's say put elevated to, let me just type elevated to RFI. Um, let's just, I don't know, just change like to, to this color. So we're going to say this one is elevated to RFI. So we kind of select that. We need to write an RFI about this issue, for example. 
and then the type you have a bunch of type like comments issue punch list and more so let's just stop I said like a coordination or let's just do trade issues and let's just add another one design issues so you can so the good thing about this when you created all of these you can filter those issues and then you can set one of them as a default so if i want to select these and then i just want to set it as default so each time i create an issue assumes that's a trade uh, otherwise i just go and you know basically change it and if you want any any of the other ones you can kind of um kind of delete them so let's say if I don't want this one, I just delete them, it's gonna go away. And then you can add as many as the, the kind of type that you want, right? So anything, if it's a design, if it's a trade coordination, let's say you wanna do like a, a skin coordination, interior coordination, structural coordination, you can kind of create those type based on the project needs. These are the discipline that you have, you can add everything. So put like a few over here, architectural, electrical, mechanical, you know, uh, what not I would just leave them that way but if, let's say if you want to add any other one there's gonna be plumbing for example and then you kind of clear the discipline right that priority is important you have critical high medium low you can add other stuff but I would stick to this um, so you know that everything is kind of critical uh, it's high medium or low what I would suggest just do like um, like three of them you know just critical is very very important but i mean just put everything on high and then medium and low just to avoid confusion but you have these uh four items if you want more uh to be added to um and you have different standards in your job again just you're more than welcome to create everything over here uh so group this is an area that you can create group right so you can let's say uh mechanical group Let's just put let's say mechanical duct for example and then let's just do another one for plumbing group and then we have mechanical piping for example so and then you can add like electrical it doesn't matter it's just so the thing is like when you have this group when you uh, assign the individual uh, when you uh, enter people's like a user name you can assign them to this group and they'll kind of go to this area and the next one is just kind of notify so if you want to create again those group over here because you want to select the whole mechanical duct or the whole plumbing group you can kind of put them over here and then the team involved same thing you can just create a team and put all over here and the last one right here is kind of looks like a category and so the good thing this is something that is kind of go to the filter and then it just get a little bit more in detail right how to to change the color for a specific category or specific item that you had in job i would recommend do not touch it leave the default is not going to affect any of your work or communication that you have so um just to make sure that you guys are following what we're talking about so this is kind of the project menu that we're going over it uh, the main one would be the project settings and all of these will be the items that you'll be able to basically set based on your project needs and you can kind of use it on your project hope that you guys enjoys the video uh if you like it make sure to make a comment and hit the like button and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching mm -hmm.